Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we put together this site in about an hour yesterday. It's just a simple one page scrolling site. And uh, it's got some various sections on it today. We've customized our header here. We've given it a height and we've given it uh, some custom links up here. Today we're going to create a hover effect for our menu when you hover over it. You're going to see that little underline right there underneath it. And when we go to a particular section, it'll stay there for the focus section that we're actually on here. Now we've got to do a bit of coding for this today, but as usual, any coding I do, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my theme customizer here. We're at the dashboard of our site. I want to go to the theme customizer. So I'm going to go down to appearance and then customize. And I'm going to go down to the additional CSS part at the bottom, which is common to most WordPress themes. We're using the free 2020 theme for this today. And here's the code we wrote before is our header height and site header. Now we've done some menu de decoration with the color that we're using here. and the actual uppercase, you can add what we're doing today to your existing one if you've been following, or you can do a new one. So let's put a title in, and we'll call it header underline, just so we know so we know how to find it easily next time we come back and look, or if anybody else is editing the site, it makes it easier for them to find it if you put a title in. Okay. Now I'm going to drop down a couple and let's see what we're going to do. I'm using Google Chrome today with the fantastic inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. Okay, so I'm going to inspect one of my links here. And there it is. And if we look, it's primary menu. That's great. So let's make it, if we actually hover on it, you can see where the blue highlight is, the actual word itself is the space that that's taken up. So we need to give it a little bit more space so we can have a little underline there. So I'm going to give it some padding. Just going to five pixels top and bottom and zero left and right. Now if I hover over it, you can see it's got a little more space. And now it's got a little more space there. We can actually put a border on the bottom of it to create that bottom border effect. So I'm going to say border, bottom. I'm going to give it three picks. I'm going to make it solid. And I'll just call it blue for a minute. I'll change it to the same color as our hover color for our actual links up here, that blue up there. I'll just put regular blue here for the moment. There we go, now I spelt border correctly. They've all got a border on the bottom, three picks, and it's solid blue. That's great, but we don't want it to be there unless we're hovering over it. And we also want it to be on the active one. So let's copy what we've got here. I'll copy it from the dot of the class name all the way down to that closing curly bracket. Control C to copy. And I'm gonna paste it in over here, Control V to paste. Now I can get rid of any that we didn't write in there. So I'm going to select those and put them in. Now the blue color is wrong. I want it the same as our hover color here that we set earlier. We'll just put in whatever color you want. And here's our menu decoration. Here's the color that we used on hover. I'll use that again. Like I say, you can put this under that heading if you've followed along and done the same here this can all go under that primary menu down there but it's okay to put it separately too okay let's just paste that color in there there we go now it should match that's better it's matching the hover color there okay but we don't want any of that on there unless we hover so i'm going to copy this whole thing primary menu again to the end closing curly bracket there, control C, 
drop down a couple. I'm going to paste it in. Now after the A for the anchor tag or the link with no space, I'm going to put colon and the word hover and we'll set a hover state. Okay, so I do want the actual padding there when we're not hovering over it. And I do want the border there, but I want it to be transparent when we're not hovering on it. Because if I take it away altogether, when we hover over it, it'll add three picks here and that'll make the, the, the menu kind of grow or jump a little bit. So to get around that, I'm going to put transparent as the color in there. So it's still there, but we won't be able to see it. It's just taking up the real estate that we need. There we go, great. Now on hover, padding's not changed, so I can get rid of that. And as you can see, that underline's gone there. It's actually still there, but you just can't see it because it's transparent. Now when we hover, it comes back, as you can see. Now if you wanted to change the actual time that it takes to do that, we can give it transition duration here. So you give it half a second, so 0 0.5 seconds, or whatever works for you, 0 0.75, 0 0.3, whatever. And that you can either slow it up. Let's make it, uh, say 0 0.7 seconds. There we go. That way you can slow it down or speeding, speed it up to your liking right there. Okay, well that's all working now for our hover effect but also want it that when we go down to a section get rid of this inspector now highlights it there with the highlight color but we won't want to have it actually with the underline on the section that it goes to so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this second one again the hover effect and I'm going to change the hover to focus Now, when we go to a section, the little line will stay under, indicating the section that we're on. Fantastic. So that's all done. That's all we need to do. We've got that done. Like I say, if you've been following along and you wanted to, you could put all this under our menu decoration up here because we're using the same classes and you could just add them to keep your CSS a little tidier. Like I say, if you're doing it from scratch, this is fine too. Okay, well, let's publish our changes. And let's just take a look at this site in an incognito tab. And there we have it. When we hover over, we get our little line. And let's go down to a section. And it's indicating the section that we're on. Fantastic. All right. So there is how to add an underline effect to your 2020 theme. So I hope you found that useful today and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.